<laughs> okay, guys, today we are finding the area of an irregular shape where we're going to have to break it apart into two smaller shapes. If we look up here, the easiest thing you have, to, or the easiest way to do this is to remember that when you break it up into a shape, you got to at least have width times length for one shape. Otherwise, if you have to figure it out for both shapes, you're making it way more difficult for you. So looking at this shape, where would I draw the dividing line? Do you think, God? Um, why would I where, where two and three is? Oh, okay, so you want me to do it right across the top? Yeah. Okay, let's bust this up. And I always say shape A is the what? The biggest Right, number. so we'll label this one A, and we'll label this one B. And let's not forget to write A equals and B equals. Now, looking at A, do we know right away what the width times length is? No. No, because we would have to break it apart because we broke apart this side. But looking at B, do we know right away what, yeah. what the width times length is? Do we? What is it? Yeah. It's three times two. Yeah, it's three times two. Look, it's right there. Three times two. Okay, so B equals three times two. Now, looking at A, we know it's not I in inches because we just cut it off right there. So how do we find that out? Yes. Um, since they're here on the other side, the other side would be three, so then... Right, so the since there's a three on this side, that means this side is going to be... Three. three. So if we're taking three away from nine, what's the rest of this? Six. So now the area for A with times length is going to be what? Six times eight. Okay, six times eight equals? Forty-eight. Three times two equals? Six. Am I done? No. no. you got to add them back together because I broke them apart. So what's A plus six? Oh, 54. Right, well, it's 14. We're raising the one. Okay. 54 what? 54. Square inches. Square inches because we saw it up there. Good job. That was really good.